does the phrase offshore energy conjure up images of oil and gas rigs? If so, head to the UK's east coast and have a look out at the North Sea, and you'll see the future. Row after row of wind turbines. Wind power is an endlessly renewable source of energy and creates no greenhouse gas emissions, making it an important source of energy for achieving net zero. The UK is the windiest part of Europe, and the windiest part of the UK is offshore, out at sea. So putting wind farms out there is the perfect source of renewable energy for us. Currently, wind farms are built in shallow sea, relatively close to the shoreline, so they can be fixed to the seabed. This means there are only certain areas of offshore waters that wind turbines can be built on. And to produce more renewable energy, we need bigger turbines. In recent years, we've increased the power generation from a single turbine, from half a megawatt to between 12 and 15 megawatts, significantly decreasing the cost. This means that some of our turbines' blades now have a total length of 220 metres. A new innovation that's in development is floating wind farms. Unlike existing wind farms, they don't need to be fixed to the seabed and instead use anchors, like on a boat, to keep them in place. This means they can be positioned in much deeper sea areas, meaning there's more room for bigger wind turbines that generate larger amounts of power. It also means there is a much bigger choice of location where offshore wind farms can be positioned, minimising the impact on coastal communities, while giving all of us better access to clean and renewable energy. But what happens when it's not windy and the turbines aren't turning? This is where another offshore technology comes into play. Interconnectors. Interconnectors are high voltage cables that run under the sea connecting our energy system to the energy system of another country. This allows the trading and sharing of any surplus energy from one country to another. As surplus renewable energy from wind farms is hard to store, interconnectors prevent excess power generated by the turbines from going to waste. For example, if the wind isn't blowing in Scotland for a day, the UK can use energy generated from hydropower in Norway to help cover the need. National Grid has interconnectors linking our energy system to those in Norway, Belgium, the Netherlands and France, plus another soon to connect with Denmark. In addition to these interconnectors that exchange energy between countries, we're also planning on installing multi-purpose interconnectors. These will allow wind farms to connect directly to the interconnector cables between countries, effectively creating a linked renewable energy offshore grid that means net zero energy can be collected from and exported to other countries directly from the wind farms. This will minimise the number of connections needed between countries, creating an efficient renewable energy sharing system that moves us towards a cleaner, greener energy future.